fucking sound one. Three, given that A, B, C, D is a trapezium, with three A, B is equal to two D, C, express the following in terms of X and Y. So we can see here, so in vector, uh, the arrow is very important so that we know what is that vector. So we see here, this one is D, A. Okay, you see here D to A, the arrow is from D to A. So D to A is equal to X. And then here D to C is equal to Y. Okay, so express in terms of X and Y, right? So A, A, B, vector A, B. So we see here it's given that 3 A, B is equal to 2 D, C, right? So here we see here 3 A, B is equal to 2 D, C. So we know the value of DC which is equal to Y. So this one is 2Y. 3AB is equal to 2Y. So AB is equal to, we can bring 3 to the other side. So divide with 3, 2Y over 3. So this one is 2Y which is equal to 2 over 3Y. So this one is 2 over 3. So B is AC. So AC, you see here, you just make this line which is A to C. So how to get from A to C? So there is two way. You can go AB plus BC. So you see here, there is two way. You can go AB plus BC. And you can also go AD plus D. See, you see here there is two way to go. Sometimes there is more. But then choose a way which is the easiest way. Okay, but you see here AB plus BC. You don't know what is BC, right? But then here, you don't know AD, but you know DA. And we know that this one is opposite, but the magnitude is the same. So, if DA is X, so we know that AD is equal to negative X. So, then we know what is AD. So, DC we, or, we also know. So, we know these two. So, we just use this one. So, AC is equal to AD plus D. C. So, AD is equal to, you see here, AD is equal to negative DA, right? We know DA and AD is opposite of DA. Plus, this one is DC. So, DA is X, right? Negative DA is negative X. Plus, DC is Y. So, this one is Y. So, now you get AC. C, B, C. So you see here, B, C is this way. So to get B, C, so in vector, actually there's a few ways where you can get the answer depending on which one you want to use. But choose the easiest one. So you see here, B, C, this one is, you can go from B, A, you see here, B, A, to, and then you go to B, A, plus A, D, plus D, C. You see here, B, A, and then you go to A, D, and then you go to D, C. You will still go from B to C. So, this is what you mean by the vector. I mean, you can also go from B to D up to C, but then you have to find what is BD first. So, you see here, BA, you know what is the vector. So, this one, you know the vector of AB. So, you can find BA because it's just opposite uh, negative value. AD, we have, we don't have AD, but we have DA also opposite value. So, also have the value. And then here, DC, we have the value. So, we can find what is our BC. So, here BA. So, we don't have BA. B to A, but we have A to B, right? So, BA is actually negative AB. Negative is opposite. Okay, plus. So, AD, we don't have AD. A to D, we don't have AD, but we have D to A, right? Which is opposite of D to A. Okay, and then we have DC plus D C. So, AB. So, AB is negative AB. So, negative AB is actually 2 over 3 Y. So, plus negative DA or my, just minus DA. So, DA is X. DC, you see DC is going this way. So, plus DC is Y. So, you see here Y and Y negative 2 over 3 plus Y you get this one y is actually 3 over 3, right? So here we get 1 over 3y minus x. Or you can also write negative x plus 1 over 3y. It's actually the same thing. Okay. So 
So, D is B, D. So, you see here B, D. So, B, D is this way. See here, B, D. So, you can see here, to go from B to D, you can either choose this way. You see here, which is B, A plus A, D. And or you can go B, C and then C, D. B, C plus C, D. I just write this two way because you can do either of this one and you still get the same answer because you have all the value, right? So here, if you go from BA, the first root, you see here BA, you already have AB. So BA opposite negative of AB, you have the value. So you see here AD, we have the value because we have DA, AD is opposite of DA, we have the value. So here BC, we just uh, we know the value of BC just now, right? So, and then CD, you also have CD. So, you can choose either way you wanted to use. You can use the first way or you can use the second way. But you see here, here BC is equal to half 1 over 3Y minus X just now, right? I mean, but this one, uh, you see here BA is this one and this one which is a shorter way. We might just choose one. Okay. If you just use the first root, B D is equal to B A plus A D. So B A, we don't have B A, but we have A B, which is 2 over 3 Y is negative A B plus A D. So A D, we don't have A D, but we have D A, which is negative D A. So, negative AB is 2 over 3Y. DA minus DA is X. Right? DA is X. Okay, this one is the first one. So, if you use the second root, BC plus CD, BD is equal to BC plus CD. So, here BC is equal to 1 over 3Y minus X. And CD... So, we don't have CD but we have DC is equal to negative DC. So, this one is 1 over 3Y minus X minus DC is equal to Y. So, 1 over 3Y. So, we do Y and Y. 1 over 3 minus Y. We get negative 2 over 3Y. So, negative X is negative X. So, can you see that this one and this one is similar? So, in vector, actually, there is many ways for you to get the answer. As long as you get the same answer and the, your working is correct, then it is acceptable.